Hey, hi guys, welcome to PowerPointWork.com presentation channel and uh, we are going to explain a really beautiful thing today which you can do in your PowerPoint presentation to impress your audience. So first of all, in front of your screen you can see that there's a beautiful uh, the cover slide which I have explained like how you can make it in my previous videos so I would suggest you guys to subscribe this channel and like this video so that you can get all the latest updates in the future uploads so moving on to the next slide we have this beautiful effect which you can see like the gear boxes are actually moving and uh, this creates a really beautiful effect in PowerPoint slide which you can also implement in your presentation then I have explained this one before in my earlier videos so the, the link of this uh, tutorial is actually available in the description down below so the today's topic is like how to make this thing in PowerPoint presentation. You can see like water fills in the flask and water le level rises and then the bubble starts moving upward. So this is a very beautiful effect which you can make in your PowerPoint presentation. And let's get started in let's fill this thing in PowerPoint. So first of all we have a blank slide here and in this blank slide we have a flask which we I have downloaded it from Google images and then I have imported it in PowerPoint presentation for you guys and then the next step would be to copy it control plus C or you can select this option right click and uh, select the copy button and then paste it and you will get the two copies of it the first copy uh, is here select it and go to the shape fill and uh, select this option which is already selected and then go to the shape outline select no outline option the second step is that like you have to select the second flask and go to the shape fill and select the no fill option here okay and uh, then shape outline you have to click it and select the this option so you can see right now we have two flasks and one has the outline and the second one has the inside of it colored in blue. So the third step is to click on this uh, rectangular box in drawing section and then uh, draw a box like this and this box has to cover the area of uh, the first slot like this which you can see and once you have it move it up here and then navigate to the drawing section and right click on this circular drawing and click on the lock drawing mode this will give you the uh, option to make some of the circular uh, patterns like this okay and you can create random patterns okay I think we have um, created three and three six patterns and once again click right click on it and click on the lock drawing mode once again and then select all these circular uh, boxes uh, circle circles and then click on the format and then select the uh, drop down menu of align and select the align top option but once you have selected it select this rectangular box and select these all uh, these all circles go to the merge uh, merge section and then uh, you have to before we do that we are we, we have to I mean um, click on these once again move uh, move the circles a little bit downward so that all the area of these circles should be subtracted from this rectangle and then you see when I'm going to click on the subtract button here then you will get a pattern like this okay so get your uh, first floss in the middle of the slide place this rectangular box on top of this um, flask and then drag it down to cover so that it should cover the whole area 
behind uh, in uh, of that flask so the flask becomes invisible so once we have done this the next step would be to animate it so that the effect can be generated okay and for that what you have to do is that you have to click on it once again this box go to the animations and uh, click on the animation pane and uh, click on this go to add animation option select the motion path option and select the up button and once you have selected this button you can see that this flask is uh, I mean this uh, rectangular box is actually moving upward like this okay and once if we see it you can see that this uh, rectangular box is moving quite upward and we do not need to make it move that upward okay so we can adjust it a little bit here which it look where it looks quite beautiful yeah this is much better here so the next step would be to place this second flask on top of the first flask but the thing is how can we see the first flask which is actually behind this box so to make it possible select this rectangular box and then click on the shape fill go to the more colors fill and here you can see there is a transparency button hold this transparency button to 100 percent click ok and you can see that you can now actually see that first flask and it is quite much visible so hold the second flask and place it exactly on the flask which is behind it and then remove it like this and once again click on this rectangular box go to the shape fill you see this more fill colors option <coughs> I'm sorry and then click on and hold the transparency button down to zero percent and click OK you can see that now these uh, I mean the flask is again invisible we have to hide this box as well so for that click on the shape fill once again click on the eyedropper tool and click on the vacant area of this slide so that the color of this box matches exactly with the slide color again click on it you can see that you can see the outline of this box so we have to remove it remove it as well select the shape outline option select the no outline option here and you can see that it's invisible now so if you click this button then you can see there is nothing visible so where is the flask which is going to fill click on it send to back this is our first flask click on it again and click on the send to back okay now what you see is that we have three layers the first layer is the first flask which is completely filled with blue color and that is at the bottom and on the second one the second layer is of that rectangular box which is actually on the top of that first flask and third layer is this flask which is at the topmost and you can see it right now so if we click on this slideshow button and once again if you click you can see that the water is actually filling up but it is not moving like the one and like the one it was moving on the earlier slide so how to make it moving so now I'm going to explain to you like how we can make it moving so again I'm going to select this uh, rectangular box go to animation section and animation button and then you can see that there is a teacher emphasis option which I'm going to select here 
So once this option is selected, I'm going to click on this start option and select the with previous button. So once it's selected, you have to match its uh, animation timing with the first animation so that the both of the both of these look coherent and increase its uh, I mean the duration exactly to match the first animation okay and then click on the effect options and uh, go to the timing click on the repeat option you can click on rewind when done playing or you can click on the uh, end of the next slide you can see we have some more options here which you if you are aware of these options you can play with them and then finally click OK and if we have a look at it now then you can see that it's a little bit moving so this is how you can actually uh, make it happen this is a very cool uh, I mean animation which you can do and then we need um, the this this uh, I mean this water drop down drop uh, I mean water dropping from the top into the flask so to make it possible I'm gonna click on the rectangle button here select uh, I mean create this rectangle like this and keep it in the middle and color it exactly the same as the liquid we have remove its outline and once we have it you have to animate it now go to the animations and I'm gonna click on the wipe option here and this effect should be from top and uh, I'm gonna click in like on on previous and now you can see that there are three animations here so the first step would be this water falling into the flask so that means this has to be on the top of the all animation so I'm gonna drag it down uh, drag it upward like this and then I'm gonna click on the second animation and then click uh, on its start uh, starting button and select the after previous option so once we have done it we can have a look at it now I click and you can see that water is fallen and uh, this liquid is actually filling up this flask but now the only one thing is remaining and that is the bubbles these bubbles are not coming out so how to make it possible go to the home button here again and in, from the drawing section click on these circular um, um, uh, shape and create these bubbles like this okay copy paste and make different sizes I'm gonna make um, maybe three sizes here to explain to you like how this is actually happening so just drag them here like this and uh, once you have done it select them and color them accordingly and move its outline and now we have to animate them right so for that click on it uh, I mean select all these three options and select this float in option now you can see that these boxes are actually moving from quite downward area of this loss so we have to make move them a little up so these boxes should move from the this uh, you can see it looks much uh, natural now so you can see we have oval 27 and it uh, says like start on the click so we have to make it automatic and for that we will select the after previous option so now let's have a look at it we click and waterfall then it fills the flask and then bubbles come in now the only final step is remaining and that is like why these bubbles are not moving uh, automatically back and forth so how to make it select all these uh, ovals in animation pane right click go to the effect options select timing and rewind when done 
playing click on this radio box or secondly you can click on the repeat drop down and click on the this option until the end of the next slide click OK and when you see it now you can see that these droplets or these uh, I mean gaseous molecules are actually moving upward automatically so this is a really cool thing to learn so I hope you guys enjoyed this video so please like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you can get all the latest updates so thank you for your time have a good day bye bye